Thanks for spending just a minute thinking about God's truth with me today. Today we focus on the truth of Luke 24.10. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the others with them who told this to the apostles. It's time to start the clock and break it down. Have you ever heard of fake news? Fake news happens when someone reports something as fact, when the reality is it never happened. Well, fake news is not really that new. It's been around for centuries. In fact, many believe the story of the resurrection of Jesus from the dead is simply an example of fake news. After all, who could really believe that a man who was severely scourged and beaten and then crucified to death would come back to life and walk out of a guarded, sealed tomb three days later? Well, here's one obvious reason the resurrection of Jesus from the dead is not fake news. Women. Yes, that's right, women. Do you realize the first people to report the resurrection of Jesus from the dead were women? So what, you ask? Well, in Jesus' day, women were treated as possessions without rights. A woman in Jesus' day couldn't give testimony in court because as a woman, no one would believe her. No fake news writer in his right mind would choose women as the first witnesses and reporters of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. No, a good fake news writer would choose the most reputable and believable man. So so the fact that God chooses women as his reporters to give us the news that Jesus conquered death and is alive makes the account extremely likely. Think about it. As always, I'm interested in your thoughts and comments. Please share them with me in the comment section below. And be sure to come by and worship with us if you're ever in the Denver area. And please subscribe to the Living Hope YouTube channel. Remember, the evidence for the resurrection of Jesus is overwhelming. Your faith is built on fact. Serve him well today. God bless you.